All right, welcome back. And this is uh, part two of the mastering tutorial. Now we're going to get down to the actual mastering bit. So we're going to continue to keep the fruity limiter off, and we're going to continue to monitor our fruity dB meter, uh, dB meter, and our EQ UO master. So now let's look at where we're at. Let's go ahead and play the song and see where we're peaking. <laughs> It's not too bad, um, uh, but I am looking down here and noticing that we're hitting um, our highs are a bit too high and our lows are a little bit too low. So we're going to uh, address that right now. Um, and first off, I want to get, I want to eliminate the peaks out of my, um, out of my bass. So if I hit the solo button here, I'm going to be, be able to listen. Now I'm, that's starting to sound and look a little bit better. Um, I've eliminated some of the peaks by adjusting the pregain. And when you put the pregain up, you're basically giving uh, your compressor more of a signal to compress. So you have more of an even uh, looking baseline. Uh, you have less valleys. And that's, that's pretty important in bass. Now we're going to go over here and check out the mid-range and see what's going on over here. And I'm still keeping it on solo. Okay. Now let's go over and check out the highs. Now lots of peaks and valleys and highs is a typical thing uh, because you have lots of hats hitting at different areas and they have high attacks and um, very fast releases. So you're gonna get a lot of peaks and valleys. Um, but I think um, our highs are a little bit too high, so I am going to compress them just a little bit. Now, whenever I adjust this curve up a little bit, I'm softening the uh, the compression. In other words, or in other words, I'm actually kind of lessening it a little bit. But because I adjusted the uh, pre-gain, I fed in some more uh, input for it to compress. So I kind of, I kind of um, did one thing and then undid the other, uh, but just just enough to where it made a difference to uh, keep a good tight sounding compression in there. So now let's just go ahead and listen to the whole master. And if I keep it on solo. Um, I'm obviously going to be soloing the master channel, so I'll just be hearing everything. All right, now you can see I'm still peaking, um, but it's not as bad as it was. So I'm going to go back and I'm going to continue to make some adjustments and hopefully we can get this uh, as close to zero decibels just by um, adjusting these three bands. And um, afterwards I'll show you what we do after there. So I'm just going to mess around a little bit.
Now I'm also going to adjust these releases. I'm going to bring them down. Um, I like to have short releases. Uh, that way, um, after the sound is compressed, it can get back. It can get back up to its range before it gets compressed again. So I'm just going to do that. And as you can see, the more uh, adjustments I make here, the closer I am getting to keeping this at a nice even range without much peaking. <laughs> Now, in fact, you can see I'm pretty much almost there. Um, I'm barely peaking here. Um, and I've purposely kept the the um, base range uh, just a little, little higher than everything else. Um, I've actually dipped the uh, mid-range slightly. And um, I've kind of uh, kept the high, high ends a little high. Um, in fact, I'm going to bring them down just a little bit in the post. And uh, now let's hear it again. Now notice overall here we got a nice um, we got a nice flat frequency response all across the board here. Uh, the valleys aren't too low, um, and this is because I have a lot of instruments going on here. So when you have a lot of instruments going on, you don't want to have a lot of valleys um, unless you, of course, have silent silent areas um, or areas where instruments drop out. But when everything is playing full force, you don't want to have too many valleys or peaks in your master track. Um, so now things are, are pretty close to how I, how I want them. Um, I could probably still make some more adjustments, but we're not going to do that. We're going to go over here to the Fruity Limiter now. We're going to turn that sucker on. And now um, anything that's that comes through the channel, we're going to also see it in the Fruity Limiter. And now the Fruity Limiter is basically um, a compressor as well. It can do similar things that um, Maximus can. Uh, but this, what we're going to see here, is going to be the same thing that we see over here. Only difference is I have compression off right here. Now this is kind of kind of kind of act as a compressor. Uh, actually, it's going to act as a uh, ceiling or a gate. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to adjust this. I'm going to put this to negative point zero one. And you can see up here whenever you adjust the knob, you can see what it is. So now I know that anything. Um, that hits that threshold is going to be compressed and I'm not going to ever have anything peaking now so watch <laughs> So basically, I've pretty much uh, accomplished what I set out to do, um, and I did this all, you know, within about nine minutes or so. Um, but you can take your time, um, mess around, and basically just keep adjusting um, and doing it your way. Just keep in mind that you don't want to have you don't want to have this be your main compressor. You want this to be your main compressor, and you can even turn on master compression. And also, you know, do a curve. You know, just, you know, let's see what that does. Turn off for delimiter. <laughs> Yeah, now you can see I'm definitely not peaking. In fact, I'm I'm coming under. I could even adjust this up a little bit. So that's basically it. And um I hope this guy I hope this helped you out, guys. Um if you have any comments or questions uh go ahead and feel free to ask and uh follow me on soundcloud go over there check out my songs leave me some comments tell me what you think um and uh subscribe to my new youtube channel um, i got some songs posted here and i'm gonna keep on posting tutorials and uh yeah so uh basically just uh hit me up ask me questions and uh check out my stuff on soundcloud thanks a lot guys Take it easy.